We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. All right, everyone, I need your help. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. It helps you out. Make sure you don't miss any content. That way you won't miss when I'm in your city and traveling because I'd love to meet you all. It helps me out as well. So please, everybody, hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. And I would like to sincerely welcome you to the Happy Healthy Hungry Family. Everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we are at the Cultivation Food Hall in Jackson, Mississippi. Yes, that is right. We're in Jackson, Mississippi. Super cool. So, but we're not eating southern food today. We had some southern food before, and if you didn't see that, definitely check out the video. But today we are eating poke. Yes, that's right. We're eating a 10-pound poke bowl. It's huge. I've never even done a poke bowl challenge before, but now I get to. So I'm super excited. So we're here at Poke Stop in this Cultivation Food Hall doing their 10-pound poke challenge. So essentially, it's a massive bowl of poke, weighs 10 pounds. I don't know what's in it, I don't know much about it, but I'll get you those details, so let's go eat some food. Hey everybody, so here we are with the massive poke bowl. So not only do we have 10 pounds of just rice, fish, vegetables, and other deliciousness, but we only have 40 minutes to complete it. So it should be a lot of fun. So yeah, I just, uh, we are live. I just told my mom we're going live. Shout out to my mom, much love. Um, but at that, Rena, ready to get started? So it looks really good. We have spoons to eat our poke today. I think that's a little unconventional. Would you normally eat it with chopsticks? I use a fork. A fork? Yeah. Do you want one? No, this is fine. Okay, well, spoons it is today. For that, everybody, I guess we might as well get started. We'll see you at the count on. Five, four, three, two, one. We got all that seafood. Enjoy. Mm. Oh, wow. Got some crabs, some crawfish. Technical difficulties. Here. So here we go. There we go. I will tell take you. Try to get my soy sauce action. We also have a large variety of other sauces here to eat. So it looks good. Oh yeah. I like sodium. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at Poke Stop in Jackson, Mississippi doing their 10 pound poke challenge guys. So this thing was absolutely massive, 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 massive. Literally I've never, I mean I think maybe I had a poke bowl maybe once in my life, but this was by far the biggest poke bowl I've ever had. And I've never had a poke challenge, so I thought that was really cool. It's always kind of, you know, fun to do something a little, little different. Um, of course it does remind me and it, I find it very kind of similar to a sushi challenge, but again, uh, this is a poke bowl, which if you're not familiar with a poke bowl is, guys, it's kind of like, I'm going to describe it as deconstructed sushi. I think that's the most simplistic way um, if you're not familiar with what a poke bowl is essentially. Like seaweed salad. So in our poke bowls, we had big beds of rice, we had beds of uh, greens, like a salad, then we had a whole bunch of different seafoods on top. We had some like shrimp crackers, seaweed salad, avocado, uh, seafood salads. So a whole bunch of delicious ingredients and then also a array of different delicious sauces in front of us as well. Definitely no shortage of food here, but it's very delicious. <laughs> we just took out like a chunk of that one side. I may have to do like a water and fill all of it here. And when it came to the sauces, we had a really nice variety of sauces. We had some spicy ones. We had some like pineapple sp uh, uh, sauces. We had um, some mayonnaise-ish based sauces. We had kind of a more hoisin sweet, uh, maybe like ponzu almost style sauce. Um, so yeah, it was really, really cool. Very nice variety. 
and uh, very well equipped. So um, on mine for the seafood, I had scallops, I had shrimp, I had crawfish, which I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, hey, you're kind of in the south, I have crawfish. Then I had tuna and I had salmon. Um, so I had pretty much everything available. Rena went with only the uh, cooked options. Um, but yeah, besides that, a 10 pound poke bowl, definitely a very, very big one, and in 40 minutes. Got lots of veggies in here. Lots of greens. I really like poke. It's like a nice light lunch. <laughs> yeah. From my understanding, I believe this challenge was defeated once before, um, and ultimately, but I but I don't know if there was a record or anything. Uh, all I know is that, I mean, yeah, 40 minutes, this great, big, delicious style of seafood bowl. Um, but yeah, pretty much, I think that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if we ate the bowl, of course, we got it for free, which is always nice. And that's seafood salad. Woo. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Living it. I also need to give a huge thank you to all the staff and the owner. Um, just absolutely exceptional hospitality. Um, very, very welcoming. And uh, hey, I mean, we're in the South. This is a, again, I really like the South guys. The, the hospitality is great, although even though I believe the owner is from California. But uh, huge thanks to both of them. Definitely hope to cross paths again in the future. I would definitely recommend stopping by here for some good food. This cultivation food hall where this place is located is super, super cool. It has a big array of different vendors all along each each side of course it actually has a lot of dining space as well and it's a very new upscale um, kind of building so it's kind of a cool spot like I don't know a good place to go for a lunch or I guess maybe even a date like who knows um, like a like a lunch date so that everybody I believe I will let you get to the rest of the video I think that's all the information we have so wish Raina and I luck as we head into this big huge poke bowl challenge guys like we said 10 pounds this thing is absolutely monstrous um, it's the biggest poke bowl challenge that i've ever seen it's the biggest one that i know of and like i said it was actually one of my first times having a poke bowl as well so what a better way than to dive into the deep end you know plunge into the ocean etc etc all these kind of I'll call them puns, you know what I'm saying, guys. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Hope you enjoy, and ultimately, let's try to get some wins, see what happens, and let's enjoy some delicious poke bowls. All right, so we're about five minutes, 20 seconds in. I'm pretty much down to my five pounds of rice, or whatever, how much weight that is. It's absolutely giant. So let's get into the rice. about eight minutes, 20 seconds in. Green is doing real well. I tell you she's just over half the bowl. I'm just again eating some rice, but we will get it done. Just about 30 minutes left. Excuse me. Back to the power of Hello Kitty soy sauce. 
This is the one time I'll ever shout out Hello Kitty. Because I like soy sauce. Lots of great people come out, including Lisa. Thanks for coming out, Lisa. We had Aiden, we had a cool uh, Abe and them back here. But uh, yeah, we'll go say hi and some thanks to some other people here. But much love down here in Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> and some more, some more love from Jackson, Mississippi. So thanks so much for coming out, guys. And Josiah as well. Like I said, much love down here in Jackson, Mississippi. Great place. And, uh, we loved you, Joel. Great competition. Rain, amazing. I've never seen nothing like it. Well, thank you so much for coming out, guys. Much appreciated. And thanks to Mr. Aiden for coming out, too. Aiden, did you like the show? Yeah, much love, right? So, cool. Well, thanks so much, my friend. And tell them, uh, tell them happy eating. Happy eating. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it.